Today, we're looking for gold. Gold! <laughs> Wickedly awesome chalcedony. And the ever elusive black calcite. All right, let's go. What do we got here? Coupels in a furnace? We might have to melt some gold one of these days. up the old black Sheba mine. We're gonna check out some of the old workings, explore back into one of the old adits, see if we can drop down one of the shafts and see what kind of treasure they were mining here. Here we got a prospect trench it looks like. Looks like a host rock, host rock and this stuff here in the middle has got to be the vein from here across to here a little bit further in this maroon red Looks like we got calcite and this stuff's pretty decomposed. Easy, easy mining and digging. You could do this by hand. Maybe this is so easy because we're at the surface here. They're following this vein back down into this old collapsed at it. And this one actually looks like it's just a prospect. They didn't go much further than that. But there's no saying they didn't go down because we got another one over here. You can see vein here. You got a vein here or something, some mineralization. And back over here, we got this big old prospect pit too, and it's all kind of in a line. Shaft goes down there, added in there, so it looks like this whole mountainside's mineralized. Beautiful colors in this stuff. And so far from assays, we know it's carrying some gold, some silver, and a little bit of platinum. This coating right here. Kind of interesting. No. That's solid quartzite. Alright, well we're gonna get the super light. I'm gonna go down this super <laughs> steep sketchy hill. Might as well film it in case I take a tumble. We're going skiing in Arizona. Woo! Haha, -ha, made it! Picked up this piece off the dump that looks different than everything else. We got quartz. Yeah, no, I guess calcite on this side a little bit. We got iron, maybe a little bit of galena. Then we got quartz here and this black mineral. That could be what's carrying the values. Who knows? We're gonna have to get in the mine and see what we can find. But this chunk has some heft to it. Yeah. You feel that? Oh yeah. And it's definitely right side heavy where the quartz- And you can see a rust stain, so there is a layer of iron. Yeah. Yeah, I know. This is all sketchy right here. I don't here. know if I'd trust that piece of wood in front of you. If you start going, you're going. Let's see if we can see down into that shaft. See if I can throw that light. Maybe you can see it on camera. I see it's shining up the, the beams a little bit. I don't, there's no bottom in sight. But a lot of this is fairly loose. Ah, so that's that black Sheba calcite band right here in the middle. And over here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Massive, massive crystal formation. This is going to be my first descent into this mine. All right, we're going to go for it. Keep the backpack on. I'm going to slither in here. Ooh. Yeah, somebody was taking a nap down in here. Here we are. All right guys, this is kind of interesting. Right here at the entrance of the mine, we got some bats that probably nest up here to hide out in this little nook. These stalactites here are bat guano building up. It's pretty wild. All right, so they're coming in here. It looks like they're centralized on this uh, black calcite. It almost looks a little bit like axonite, but it's not. And they're following this back. This pinkish material, it's gotta be the vein. Since the shaft is right on the front, I'm guessing it got more mineralized the deeper they went. There's some fairly substantial workings out front, but this is a glimpse of what they were working further down in there. You know, someone gloried that little pocket out. 
And Mark, it actually looks like where they took the sample here at the end of the mine, it looks like they're on the side of the black calcite vein. You know, they're in this white, white quartzy and clay-like material right there. So that's something to that think could about. Be fault gouge or a secondary deposition. Right. Both of which would enrich it. And then they're coming off into this pink mass here, off of the calcite again. Interesting. Relatively high ceiling, so if I was to come back and work this mine, instead of building a storage shack, just put a door on this entrance and this could be your giant storage room. Yes. Pretty cool. If only for your powder. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Ooh, look at the colors. contact zone. Well, this is kind of an interesting feature. You can see this, I don't know, inch and a half thick band right here. Um, but it's like a, a, a bedding plane that they originally followed in. You can see it goes rough rock, rough rock, rough rock of the vein. And then there's this really ultra smooth uh, plane. So whatever mineral they were chasing on this vein, you know, is interjected along this, and this is the vein. But then back here, they veer off it. They break through it. Who knows if it appears further down, but it's an interesting geological feature to, to keep Almost an eye like out for. this is the, the, that same plane or right. similar. Ooh, there's an old borehole. They blasted this one. So here's a look at the added entrance. It's right down there. You can see this whole hillside is uh, mineralized. And then the center, we had that thick calcite vein, and they're trying to figure out what to do. And then if you follow that vein feature down, this is what they followed into the shaft. You can see it from there to there. And what's interesting is the composition of the rock from up here to down here already changes. It's the same vein. However, the structure of it's totally different. So I bet you they've kept following that down, 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 way down there. Down there where it eventually got more mineralized because the vein looks much more solid and crystallized and it's just kind of interesting to see how the vein can change with depth. Part of that reasoning can be due to surface oxidation and or the vein structure completely changes. So we just realized something pretty darn interesting. So this vein that they're prospecting and the shaft comes down in on that changes with depth. Um, then we can see, you know, all this is mineralized. All this is mineralized. The veins are going in this way. But then this first prospect, we got veins running this way in an opposite direction from that original vein. So it's possible where this vein came across this way and intersected with the main vein. That could possibly be what they dropped the shaft in on and where two different veins converge and or the vein you know meanders or makes bends tends to be in rich zones so kind of looks like they're at the vein intersection following that way down and who knows that patch could have been greatly enriched I have a cable up here strong iron mineralization on that rock Not sure what the cable is up here for, but oh, that's not too old either. 30s, 50s. Interesting. Follow this guy on up. See where that leads. Up. Oh, leads to here. Well, this dump's showing a. A heck of a lot more iron mineralization. They apparently trenched off this way searching for something where Mark's standing. Hey. 
Have you been down in this one? No, but I don't think it goes too far. Interesting. Here we got another one. Let's see if we can see down back in here. No rattlers at the entrance. It looks like we got a little room. Does it bend or turn? Can't see to the left, it might drift off there. So we're gonna send the test dummy in on this one first. <laughs> I'm a test dummy. <laughs> No one's been down in there in a while. Weird out those. So it kind of looks like a little room, and then it might veer off to the left. Yeah, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> well, heck, we might have to sneak in there. Is it small? Yeah, it's just a. Uh, it goes to the left here, about three feet, and dead ends. It's. It's just a test pit, although there is. Hey, you want to grab the camera and give us a look? Yeah. Interesting. It's like, come in here. It just goes a little ways here to the left. Goes up a little, not too interesting. There's like little stringers. But they wedged in a piece of wood over here, and I'm not sure what that's all about. Curious, but there's nothing to go. I don't know. Okay, going back out. Oh, you see his daylight. Oh, hi, little puppy. Hi, little puppy. Oh, did you miss me? Did you miss me? Oh, you good girl. Arr. So, on the other side of the hill here, you can see it kind of looks like an old road. Um, but that line, some kind of old dike intrusion and or different bedding plane right along this mineralization. So typically where you have dikes and push-ups and thrust and fault zones, um, it gives an area for mineralized fluid to come up and clearly up back this way and along here is where those mineralized fluids went. Ow! <laughs> Dang, I was... <laughs> I was gonna film this really cool uh, desert spiky snowball just because it looks so neat and it's perfectly round. And in the process, like a genius, uh, I kneeled down on this one and I felt the prick. Let's see if it drew any blood. So what's the point? Ha! Up here, there was a cross-up on the wall. Yeah. Pull up the old floorboards, look for treasure. That was some deep, deep window sills. Oh yeah, it's like thick walls. Two, two feet, two feet thick. Yeah. Yeah, Mark, this spot actually looks quite familiar. I think I've seen it before. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the history, but apparently from what I remember right over here, this might have been the Borden house or where they rented rooms and that sort of thing. Yeah. We'll have to we'll have to touch back on that history, but there's another YouTuber uh, that went through this place and knew a whole lot of the history. Pretty wild that we randomly found it. I certainly wasn't looking for it, uh, but here it is. Ooh, nice little old box spring. That looks cozy. Look at that. Yeah, just for you. Gear rat. Pretty wild. Yeah, the rat's there to keep you warm. We like this one. We have it. That's right. <laughs> well, this building's actually in pretty good shape if you wanted to. If I owned this and this was on a mine site, you could gut this and make it livable again pretty easily. Yeah. It's, it's a disaster, but it's sturdy. From what we can see. Again, no one's dug through the floorboards. Um, there's no reason to think that there'd be treasure hidden in here, but you just never know. So I guess this was the old highway that went through here, right? Yes. 
So this was a boarding house, somebody who robbed a bank up the road or a filling station could have hidden their loot down in the floorboards and they're all still intact. Pretty cool. There's the new highway up there. I don't know how we found this. Yeah, no, the old timers are really good with rock creating retaining walls, you know, and old supports for old mine roads. Yes. People don't stack rock like this nowadays. You know, it takes a lot of time and effort piecing together each piece of rock just right. Looks like back here we got the distillery, the moon, moonshine shack. Well, actually, this might have been the pig pen. We got chicken wire. It's not a fair day cage. <laughs> They're for grapevines. Oh, maybe this was the jail for the bad kids. It actually looks like a chicken coop. That makes more sense. We probably had doors that can open. This lift up and down. We had a run up here. So this old stop had fresh eggs. We got an old wash and tunnel. We sure do like these old tunnels. Is it nice and cool in there? Oh yeah. Last time I was out here, this was all water. Oh, really? Yeah. Like how full? Enough that all this brush here was completely choking this and you couldn't even get to here. Woo! Where's the gold? We are not look at your teeth. Ooh, don't walk into what look like willows in the desert. Man, we got thorns all over this stuff with short sleeves, no thanks. So there's these huge outcroppings of this large kind of uh, calcini calcidony uh, botrytal stuff. You can see all these little balls. You know, it's not a very good gem quality, but some of them, the insides are nice and crystal. You can see all these little bumps. And as Mark just pointed out, this white little splotch, which is a perfect half sphere. And down in here, that's common opal. Common opal. There we go. Yeah, this oh. one you can be. Shanty. Look, look at this. What you got? Or that altered rhyolite. Yeah. Which is almost a, a, like a gray obsidian. Ooh, we're, there we got the rat hotel. Nice little bookshelf. Across from this old town, there's this, you know, big rock pillar with holes in here for birds and all sorts of things. But right down in the middle, there, I mean, that looks a good 40, 50 feet wide. That's a calcidney vein that we were looking at back over this way. We're gonna creep around the side of it, just sneaking suspicion, see if we can't find any specimens. See the more resistant mineral intrusion, the patchwork, as the rest of rock is kind of weathered away. It's maggoty, calcidony. I'm guessing that's what this webbing is also. Uh, two, two spherical botrytal growths. Pretty, pretty cool. I found some over there that were broken open like little geodes. Oh, oh, we've hit the low-grade mother load. Look at this thing. It's just like a giant cluster of grapes. That's a neat one. Oh, look at that. It's pretty cool. Look at all the betroyal growth. Definitely wouldn't call this gem quality, but it's certainly specimen quality. That is cool. Look at that guy. This monster hunk. Oh, look at that. I bet cleaned up in some acid, this would be a gnarly piece. Pretty darn cool. I like that one. I mean, just look at all these crazy round features. You can see the hardo exoskeleton in the center. We got crystal druzy. So I bet you if we look close now, we might even be able to find some geodes. Look how wild this stuff is. Super pretty. Check this piece out. Gnarly. It's awful similar looking to grape agate, but it's obviously not grape or purple colored. This stuff sure is pretty. Oh, look at this piece. That's just gnarly. Look at all the little uh, druzy, 
druzy geodes on this guy. These are all just laying out here on the ground. That's a pretty neat specimen. I wonder what that would look like cleaned up. Pretty cool. Oh, we hit the blueberry mother load. Look at these guys. Pretty darn neat. I just had a suspicion we should come up back this way and sure enough, that's a good, it's the big pie. Wow, that thing's gnarly. Unbelievable. Look, there's the inside of one of the Botroids. Pry out this little ball. Here's a here's a brown one. It's kind of neat. Looks like a brain. There's the old moonrise. Well, this is pretty wild. We got a whole bunch of Botroidal pieces, and you can see we have a linear plates as well, which makes this really wild patchwork. And when I mentioned patchwork below, I was right. Look at this. We got a bunch of it right in here. So cool. Down to the wash. And we got bedrock. If there's any gold, you're gonna find it down here.